Over the past several years, it seems you can't turn on a newscast or open a newspaper without seeing headlines about an outbreak of some type of virus or infection. Swine flu, avian flu, the respiratory ailment known as SARS, and the antibiotic-resistant staph infection known as MRSA are just a few of the highly contagious illnesses and infections that have caused hundreds of people to get sick around the globe in the past decade. Many have died as a result of their infections. What has health officials worldwide so concerned about these types of outbreaks is the real possibility that one will reach pandemic status. A pandemic occurs when an infectious disease, often involving a new strain of a virus or other infectious agent, emerges quickly throughout a large human population, being easily spread from person to person and causing serious illness on a global scale. Public health officials stress that a swine or avian flu pandemic is a real possibility because the viruses constantly swap genes to form new strains that are difficult to fight. Well, a pandemic of any illness could have catastrophic consequences worldwide. An illness doesn't have to reach pandemic status to affect you. Small local outbreaks of illness or infection occur frequently, so you need to be prepared. The good news is that by following some simple precautions and using common sense, you can drastically reduce your chances of contracting a dangerous virus or infection. The purpose of this program is to help you understand how to prevent becoming infected and transmitting contagious illnesses, as well as explaining the symptoms and warning signs of flu, SARS, and MRSA while learning how to respond to a suspected infection. First, let's discuss some of the common illnesses, their symptoms, and how they spread, starting with the swine flu. Swine flu is a respiratory disease of pigs caused by a type A influenza virus that often becomes the source of regular outbreaks in pigs. Until recently, swine flu had mainly been confined to pigs and persons who had contact with pigs, but as now